Hello all, this video shows how to link a Mitsubishi FX5U CPU with a CC Link IE Field basic module from Mitsubishi. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control Systems and off we go. Alright, first of all we want to have a look at the wiring. You can see the wiring, um, the power supply right here for the module and then down here there is the power supply for the input and output. This also needs to be connected and this little chamber right here is only uh, meant for to show you what happens when I switch on the Y10. The, the output Y10 and also it should go on the input X0 and also on this IP address switch here you can see I got on the 100, I got on the 10 and I got on the 1. So this means actually it's the fourth octet that means uh, in the last in the fourth octet we have the address 111 which is also described in the manual that you will have available as many times for the, from the download that I provide you with the program okay so for the wiring again you can also see this on here so it's um the positive and the negative 24 volts on the terminal 1 and 2 and also on the terminal 33 and 34 and then I have this jumper in from the Y10 to the X2 and also you need to understand that this module is in, in uh, hexadecimal so you got from X0 to XF which, which is uh, 1 volt and 15 bits and then you got the Y10 to the Y1F which is um, also 15 bits. So we have to be careful because this is already one world so the Y10 in octal is actually the Y20 and this we will see in the program which I show you now how to program it respectively how to make the parameters for the module. So in order to do this we make a new program select the, select the uh, FX5U push OK and the program gets created. Alright here we go. That's it. And then we will go on the navigation window in the parameter to the FX5U to the module parameter and there is this item that says Ethernet port and this will open and in the Ethernet port we put in the um, factory setting IP address from the CPU which is 192.168.3.2 and the subnet is the 255.255.255.0 and this is okay and then the next step will be the CC link IEF basic settings here you can see it's not to use we will change this to use and then the next step we go to the detailed settings on the network configuration settings Make a double click and then this window opens right here and I will just make this bigger and then you can see on the right side here all the available CC link modules and on this IO combined module we will find a module that I am using and this is that NZ2MFB132DTE. We just drag and drop this over here and then you will see it appears in the settings right here and then we will have to go to this switch that I showed you no I didn't show you I will have to go to the page 
75 in this manual. And then here you can uh, read about the settings again from the IP address. So the fourth octet of the IP address is set with these switches that I just showed you. And then you have the hundreds, the tens and the ones. And I have the, the hundred up, I have the ten up and I have the one up. So this is the 111. And the rest of the settings is uh, made automatically and it's already set to this basic network settings that Mitsubishi uses It's the 192.168.3 and then whatever you set in the fourth octet. And the point here is in order to make these settings valid you have to switch off the power and change the settings on those dip switches and if you don't do this you will get an error. So well, that's for that and let's go back to the setting where we have to put in the 111 and also there is another way there is an, uh, a button on the on the left top corner here where you automatically detect your module as soon as it's in the network and on power like I do it. So that's why I want to delete it and I just go and push this button detect now and then we will get some, some messages that we'll just ignore. And right now it's just searching for the module and the process is complete and you can see it appeared in the settings again and with the correct IP address with the 111. So you have two different ways to set it without power and with power on. So once this is done, we can close this window. The settings will be updated, yes. And the next thing is that we will refresh the settings. So we make a double click on here and then we have to choose which target we use for the input and outputs. So we uh, just specify the target here. And um, since the input is an input, I will just choose the uh, X. You can also make a, a, a flag, but I think that doesn't make much sense. So I just use the input and I start in this case just with the input 200 and also the output 200, that's the Y. And for, for future use, you can uh, select a word for some feedback from the module, which I will not mention in this video right here. So this needs to be the 232. So you can see the, the, 30, the 64 points. So it automatically, uh, if you start with, with 200 and uh, the 64 points in octal is 77. So it automatically puts this in. So then we can check on this button here if the settings are okay and then do not forget to apply. So that's it then. We can close this window and just make a short uh, rebuild. And then we can download it. All right, so select everything, execute the download, and it will download. And then I'm gonna take the camera again. You can still see on the module the um, D-Link uh, LED is still off. So now I have to reset the CPU and then it will take a few seconds. So now it's reset and it will take a few seconds for this light to show up. There it is. Now we have the, the link up and running and the next step will be to open the watch window and um, we had the 
the Y200, so we need the Y220 because of the setup that I showed you before. And we have the X200. We can double check this again in the settings. If we open this, the X200 and the Y200, so we need the Y220 because of the um, hexadecimal and octal setting difference in the in the CPU which is mentioned right here again so we go from 0 to 7 from 10 to 17 in the inputs and the outputs start with the Y20 so this will actually be the Y21 and then we push this button to start the watch and I put in the wrong number because I got the X202 hooked up and if I toggle this bit on now you can see just one moment you can see the Y the Y the Y10 turning on and the X2 turning on so let's see if I can manage this out toggle it on and there you go you can see the x0 the, the x2 turning on when the y10 is on and that's basically already it very simple it took like i don't know like 10 minutes or so to set this up and it's very simple to set up the ie field cc link communication with a FX5 CPU from Mitsubishi and thank you for watching and bye bye.